The project is about studying how people adapt to climate change in peri-urban areas in, and of course in this case Santa Rosa City. Peri-urban areas are areas that are at the fringes and urban center like Metro Manila that still has a characteristic of agricultural production but at the same time you see a lot of transitions in land uses from mainly agriculture to industrial, residential, uh, commercial. So it's, uh, Santa Rosa is an example of a peri-urban area. Now peri-urban areas are very critical because they're usually at the fringe of urbanization. You know when we have an urban center like Manila, it is usually, usually surrounded by rural areas. Peri-urban areas are in the transition phase. Because while it is urbanizing, you still see a lot of pockets of agricultural production like fishing, uh, farming. And yet this agricultural production is already like gradually declining. And there is a, many things are happening, social dynamics are happening. Transformation in modes of production, transformation in relationships of people, sense of community. So you see a lot of things happening. Some of them destabilizing, for example, the norms and culture of people. But at the same time, you also see a lot of things happening like now, like climate change. There is flooding, for example, in Santa Rosa. There is water shortage in Santa Rosa. So you have this as an overlay. While the community or the society is transforming from what is called a rural area to an urban center, you also see, see uh, this crisis happening. The project has two components. Uh, one component is called the research component and the other one is the capacity building component. The second component of the, of the project is what is called capacity building, which is something that is unique in the case of this project because, you know, like any research, after doing the data gathering, that's it. For the purpose of the university, for us professors, the researchers, we write the report. But in this case, there is a capacity building component because we have what is called an embedded researcher in Santa Rosa City. That embedded researcher is one of the staff of the City Hall of Santa Rosa, which is a member of the Planning and Development Office, which the project will finance to get a master's, an executive master's program. So she is part of the team of the research. She will be earning a master's degree, which part of that master's degree is working on the project, so that by the end of the project, she already has the capacity, so that we can mainstream whatever the results of that she can already take that into consideration in the planning uh, of, the, of the city.